Good day, our uh, ladies and gentlemen, our esteemed followers. Uh, we are here to answer uh, as according to the way we operate, we receive questions from the audience and address them at address them at our convenience due to the fact that we have a lot of things uh, we are carrying out. So there are two among the questions that are being sent to me via WhatsApp and uh, Facebook Messenger. There are two major questions that are of significant importance. Uh, I mean, that they, that are of profound significance that we should actually have to address. The young man is asking the clarification of what uh, mm, theoretical physics is all about. Perhaps he bent in contrast to experimental physics. That explanation is not something that uh, is very difficult to carry out. We have uh, jotted out some things. Here is the question. What is theoretical physics? Theoretical physics is a field of science which concerns itself with the mathematical modeling of reality in nature. A mathematical modeling of the reality of physical systems. So such as the quadratic equations. Some physic physical systems take the form of quadratic equations. But I refer to them as second order uh, I mean, not second order. I refer to them as mm, dynamical uh, quadratic equations because they are in form of differentials. You have the first term uh, having a second derivative, the second one with a constant, B, the first one a constant A with a constant uh, with, with a double derivative then the second one with a constant and one derivative then the third one you have a constant plus a variable uh, interestingly enough this is one of the things that is referred to as beauty of mathematics. This equation, depending on what variables are put in the equation. For instance, if in the first term we put uh, inductance I, I mean we put current I, and in the second one, we all we put uh, resistance R. The third one, we put um, in the third one we have uh, another constant. It is not coming right away, but uh, this is uh, inductance resistance uh -huh, and capacitance. The third one is capacitance with a constant without differentiation. So you see the first, the second order differentiation, first order differentiation and no differentiation. The fact that the highest order is a second order differentiation makes it a quadratic equation. Interestingly, quadratic equation as a kind of unique solution. First, if the first coefficient of the first uh, term, which has uh, a second order, 
to power 2 is positive you, the solution is going to be a high, uh, a hyper uh, parabola and when it is negative the solution is going to be a hyperbola so when you when you combine these two one with positive constant a and the other with negative constant a you have an ellipse so the ellipse is for something that is circulating along that orbit continuously without shifting so the dynamical aspect of it is that the hyperbole is on the positive side of the x-axis and the negative side is a step ahead where that positive hyperbole stopped then it begins to fall down to the uh, mm, negative side of y so like that it continues we call it a sinusoidal waves wherever it makes an intersection with the x-axis we call it um, a node that is the node of the solution where the the wave ceases to exist uh, it, this is the same thing as any other waves but we broadly classify waves into two mechanical waves and electromagnetic waves mechanical waves are those waves that are transmitted through a medium the medium can be air the medium can be uh, water the medium can be the earth like in the case of earthquake so uh, uh, mechanical wh wh when when for instance a nuclear bomb is tested deep inside ground it causes an eruption in the uh, earth structure such that the earth con by vibrates waves travel through the earth from one end to another these are called seismic waves and it is by seismic waves many centers on the earth would be able to calculate the yield of that nuclear device that has been uh, tested be it an atomic uh, nuclear bomb made up of either mm, plutonium or enriched uranium enriched uranium is the one in which most of the uranium 238 has been removed and you have more concentration of uranium 235 by the way this is just an explanation of mechanical waves that need a medium for transfer uh, in a simpler no in a simpler case just find a steel pond where the water has no any perturbation maybe early in the morning take a pebble and throw into the air we actually know that the pebble will uh, a kind of transfer momentum to the body of the air and we see ripples in circular forms moving away from the center where the pebble has hit 
so it needs that water as a medium to transfer energy without actual body of the water moving from one to place to another. All the molecules of the water do is to rise to the maximum amplitude and fall to a equilibrium uh, position. Printing. Okay. So, uh, to equilibrium position. So, um, uh, Einstein met this joke that rumors are propagated the way waves are propagated. He said a piece of rumor would start from Northern California and travel all the way to Ohio without no single person uh, traveling from uh, Northern California to Ohio. How does it happen? Let us use uh, locations that we know local in our own mm, in our own uh, country. Uh, for instance, a piece of rumor is said here in Mina. Probably someone is said to be getting married. So someone has come from Kogi and that person heard of it that someone is getting married in Mina. That person who heard it from Elorin may even, after doing what he's doing in Mina, then move to Taraba State. He may tell someone in Taraba State, and that person in Taraba State might have come to Taraba to buy yam, to transport that yam to Ogbomosho. And in the yam market in Ogbomosho, he narrates the story. Likely, someone from Onisha will hear about it, take the rumor from Ogbomosho to Onisha. This is a very uh, a uh, 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 real possibility. Then from Onisha, there may be someone from Ondo State. Then he heard of the rumor, he takes it to Akure. From Akure, there is every likelihood you will have someone who will go to Lagos that very day and the rumor will reach Lagos without any of the agents who propagated it having moved from, Lego, from Mina to Lagos directly. Some of them may not even ever have been to either Mina or Lagos because someone might have got his own information in Jos he has never been to Mina, but he got the information from Joss and he took it to Makadi. And in the end of the day, the news ends in Lagos, where he has never been. This is the nature of waves. Mm. So, these and waves sinusoidal solutions are mostly the solutions given uh, solutions obtained from solving uh, the mathematical modeling of uh, second order differential equations representing um, physical systems like 
RLC circuits that uh, uh, send out signals from an our antenna or the RLC, RLC circuits that receive signals from uh, in our antenna. So this is it about wavy nature of transmission of information using quadratic equation or rather second order differential equations. Now, most of the problems in nature that are natural are mostly modeled. Most of them can be modeled in form of second order differential equations. There is an equation we call Poisson equation and there is another equation we call Laplace equation. All the rest are just uh, improvements and additions to these equations. The Laplace equation is in another way like the wave propagation equation and also uh, the uh, uh, Poisson equation is the equation of relating the potential of an electric field with the charge density in the material. So we come we come to first order differential equation that models growth and decay. When you have a, a situation, maybe an infectious disease in a certain restricted population, or you have the scores of students in a specific in a num in a, in a class that has a specific number of students you can model it in first order differential equation and it will grow and decay likewise if you have a hot body exposed to a close to a, uh, uh, um, a colder environment, it will lose heat to the environment. So that cooling is guided by a first order differential equation. The first order differential equation that is used here is a decay equation because it has a negative uh, a negative constant that is the first order differential equation whose solution is a decay it is something like this it dies down so there are two types also of uh, first order differential equation exponential decay and exponential growth that is also applicable to population human population that is also applicable to radioactive substances given their half lives and the time taken for a certain amount of radioactive element, the certain mass of an electromagnetic element has been kept. Or when a tree is cut off, it stops taking oxygen from, uh, it stops taking carbon dioxide from the air. From there, it stops taking carbon-14. 
so carbon 14 decays and as it decays it, it, uh, its quantity reduces in the in the tree in the human remain uh, in animals fossils fauna for, uh, for, uh, and flora and so theoretical physics is an endeavor that use abstraction to model physical systems behind I mean on the basis of mathematics um, I, uh, I wrote here the physical system that can be re uh, modeled as a second order differential equation can be a pendulum, a swinging pendulum, or a child on a pulley in uh, 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 Esther. Uh, do you have it in primary school? Uh, children using pulleys to for recreation. So it can be pulley. It can be RLC circuits. This RLC stand R stands for resistance. L stands for inductance, and C stands for capacitance. R is an intrinsic property of every conductor because it is not super conductor. It offers some resistance to the flow of current in it. Then we have L, the inductance, as the current that is being used in RLC circuits is a growth and decay current. That means it begins to grow in one direction until it reaches its maximum amplitude. Then it begins to decay. Then it will begin to mm, grow in an opposite direction and that in that case the the growth of the other is simultaneous with the growth of another the growth of the electro elect, electric field is concomitant with the growth of magnetic field so that is how uh, electromagnetic waves are transmitted. Then C, the capacitance, stores energy and thus creates an electric field. So as that capacitor, as charges try to pass through the capacitor, it blocks them and accumulates them. Accumulation of charges produces a magnetic, um, I mean an electric field. So the more the charges accumulate, the larger the, elect the electric field that is uh, produced. And when it is discharging, the charge is leaving, the electromagnetic field is falling down. So as it falls down, the inductor also keeps lines of magnetic force within it. So that is how the process goes in an oscillation. And you have the capacitor and the inductor contributing to Two, ampli two types of amplitudes of waves traveling through empty space. Uh, and this is the work of a theoretical physics.
it can de define the harmonic oscillator of any kind. Uh, once more, a uh, mass spring system. When you have a spring and you hang it from a retort stand, The spring, at the end of the spring, you attach mass, masses, those masses that are being added, like coins. They will pull the spring and displace it from its equilibrium position. And when you apply force, the displacement will be very long, so much that if you release it, it will try to go back to its stable uh, position. That is the equilibrium position. In that case, when it comes to the equilibrium position, because of the energy it, come, it came with, it shoots beyond the equilibrium position. Then it will try from above to still come back to equilibrium position. Then it will pass the equilibrium position. So that one too can be uh, modeled in a second order differential equation with respect to x and t. The first term is you have m d square x dt square. This is the Newton's law of motion in an ideal state where there are no resistances. Then minus resistance R which depends on velocity of the system velocity of the swinging mass so in that velocity you have uh, the higher the velocity the higher uh, the resistance so you have m d square x dt square minus r dx dt dx dt is a velocity plus plus c plus C of X O plus B of X. So the solution where you find the roots of the equation for you to able to uh, construct the sinusoidal function, you use uh, the almighty formula we uh, we have been taught in secondary school to solve some quadratic equations i always say that the universe is a kind of uh, quadratic universe the universe is full of symphony music dancing everything is dancing uh, atoms in our body atoms in water in the ocean atoms in air everywhere there is nothing but energy dancing uh, uh, by the way these are some of the businesses of theoretical uh, physicists then apart from pendulum there is heat flow equation. 
which is also partially a second order differential equation. There is wave propagation equation, uh, both mechanical wave and electromagnetic waves. These are also second order differential equations and they seem to satisfy uh, Laplace condition. So they are kind of Laplacian equations. So uh, an example of this uh, scenario it was in the 1920s when electron, positron, and neutron were discovered to be the components of the nucleus. And uh, Louis de Broglie uh, proposed, as also a theoretical physicist, proposed the wave particle duality of matter something that was confirmed by many experimenters like Max Planck, Arthur Compton, uh, Arthur Compton uh, and many others. Uh, even uh, Albert Einstein is said to have proved it in a um, photoelectric effect. So here, the theoreticians are uh, inspired the experimenters to go conduct the experiments to confirm if that theory is true. What did Paul Dirac did? What did Paul Dirac do? Uh, Paul Dirac. Uh, adopt, uh, Paul Dirac derived a uh, Schrodinger equation in a relativistic form. In the end, he discovered a negative energy state. That negative energy state cannot be filled by an electron. Neither can it be filled by a proton by its sheer mass. So he proposed that there must be a particle that is exactly the same mass and have the same spin properties as the electron but opposite charges and opposite charge. Positing that particle brought the equation home. It was later in uh, particle colliders, I think, was it in Las Amalo, uh, Alamos laboratory that it was confirmed? The, uh, what do they call it? the uh, positron was discovered. So the positron is an antiparticle of the electron. They have the same mass but different electric charges, opposite electric charges. Uh, there are many people who did this. So theoretical physicists, the best thing they do is what they call thought experiment. They imagine that, for instance, in the case of in the case of Albert Einstein, he was in a um, in a train in a cabin. Then he assumed that a lightning struck the cabin struck inside the cabin. So he is in a moving reference frame. 
but an observer from outside is viewing that lightning struck on the cabin from an external frame of reference. So, for the person in the same, oh, let, let, let's not even talk of, uh, let us not talk of the lightning strike, the thunder, for it is a bit difficult to explain without writing. Uh, he assumed that he was sitting in the cabin and he used his torchlight to to lit the ceiling of the cabin. When he used that, it took time t. Then it came back. It was reflected, taking equal time t to come back. So because Einstein was in the cabin traveling with it, he is in what is called inertial frame of reference. So he did not see any difference as if it happened simul it, and it is not simultaneous with respect to an observer in an external frame of a reference that observer would see that it was at point A that Einstein uh, put on his torchlight and before it hit the ceiling the plane must have moved from point A to point B which means it has taken a path like this then before it come back from the horizontal line or from back to the level where Einstein's launch, Einstein launched it, it must take another thing. So it became a triangle with a line in between. By that, we could drive the relativistic uh, factor.